I wanted to show you when you buy a cheaper cooler like this igloo and it says it retains ice for three days this cooler was only twenty five dollars and I've got an extreme cooler that was eighty dollars and it only keeps ice for three days as well no longer so it really doesn't pay to buy the more expensive models because they just don't hold up like they claim I have found that I get better ice retention with the cheaper ones but what I wanted to show you is there's something that you have to do when you buy these coolers as you can see there the lid is completely hollow there is no insulation in the lid so what you want to do is get yourself some of this great stuff window and door you want window and door because it doesn't expand like the large gap filler does and once you get that you're going to want to use a drill bit that is the same diameter as the straw and you're going to just drill four holes in the corner and then two at the top and at the bottom and you want to be careful that you don't run your drill bit all the way through the lid you're going to just create a hole so you can put this nozzle in there and then fill it with foam and that'll insulate the lid and I got my holes in the corner to fill this thicker part and which will expand over into here and then I got the center to fill and meet it halfway so now I will fill that with foam and you can see by using a drill bit that is the same diameter I can get this right in the top of the cooler and fill it it is totally hollow in the lid of these coolers you want to go ahead and fill it right up full now as this is filling up you will see where foam will expand and come out the hole don't wipe that let it just be and let it dry it comes off much easier if you don't touch it and just let it dry once you have the lid filled side to side and top to bottom lay the cooler on its back so it's not going to want to drip down inside the cooler and just let this foam dry and do not touch it do not wipe it it's extremely sticky and you'll just smear it all over your cooler and you'll wreck the inside of the lid once this is dry the foam just snaps off and so now with the lid insulated I'll be able to keep ice a lot longer than just the three days because I won't be losing the coldness out through the lid once everything is dry this is what you should have and then you can just pop them off let the remainder dry and then you can just clean it up and then I just take a Brillo pad and I just lightly scrub it off and then uh, you don't even know it was done. 